Welcome to this timeline presentation. As part of the timeline assessment activity, this video will guide you through pivotal events, influential figures, and key locations that shaped history. Please pay close attention to the details as they will enhance your understanding and contribute to your success in this course. Enjoy the journey. In 1455, Piero della Francesca's The Flagellation of Christ showcased the expressive power of perspective, marking a milestone in Renaissance art. This masterpiece combines mathematical precision with profound spirituality, demonstrating how perspective can create depth and emphasize focal points, thus engaging the viewer emotionally. Della Francesca's innovative use of perspective not only advanced artistic technique, but also deepened the narrative and symbolic dimensions of painting, reflecting the Renaissance's blend of science and art. Completed in 1467, Brunelleschi's dome for the Florence Cathedral stands as a testament to Renaissance ingenuity. This architectural marvel, with its innovative use of a double shell and herringbone brickwork, solved the long-standing challenge of spanning the cathedral's vast opening. Brunelleschi's dome not only dominates Florence's skyline, but also symbolizes the era's faith in human creativity and the potential of science and art to transform society. In 1474, Marsilio Ficino's Platonic Theology sought to harmonize Plato's philosophy with Christian doctrine, showcasing the Renaissance spirit of reconciling classical wisdom with contemporary religious beliefs. This work reflects the era's intellectual curiosity and its endeavor to blend the insights of ancient thinkers with Christian theology, emphasizing the compatibility of reason and faith. Ficino's efforts laid the groundwork for the development of Neoplatonism, influencing Renaissance thought and beyond. In 1475, the birth of Michelangelo Buonarroti marked the arrival of a towering figure in Renaissance art. His genius spanned sculpture, painting, architecture, and poetry, profoundly influencing the course of Western art. Michelangelo's works, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the Statue of David, are celebrated for their unparalleled beauty and emotional depth, embodying the Renaissance ideals of humanism and the potential for human achievement. His life and art exemplify the era's quest for excellence and the belief in the creative power of the individual. In 1485, Botticelli's The Birth of Venus became an iconic symbol of Renaissance artistry, capturing the movement's peak. This masterpiece illustrates the revival of classical mythology and the celebration of human beauty and nature, themes central to the Renaissance. Its graceful composition, flowing lines, and the ethereal quality of Venus herself showcase Botticelli's mastery in conveying both physical beauty and spiritual grace, embodying the humanist ideals of the era. In 1493, Aldus Minucius founded the Aldine Press in Venice, revolutionizing book printing with his innovations, including the introduction of italic type and smaller, more affordable books. This marked a significant shift in making literature accessible to a wider audience, further spreading Renaissance ideas and knowledge. Minutius's contributions helped democratize learning and fostered the spread of humanist thought throughout Europe. In 1494, the Italian Wars began, marking a period of conflict that would significantly transform Italy and Europe. These wars involved major European powers vying for control over the wealthy Italian city-states, leading to shifts in political alliances and power dynamics. The conflict facilitated the spread of Renaissance art and ideas across Europe as artists and scholars migrated. Despite the devastation, the Italian wars played a crucial role in the dissemination of the Renaissance's cultural and intellectual achievements. In 1498, Leonardo da Vinci completed The Last Supper, a monumental work that stands as a pinnacle of Renaissance art. This masterpiece, renowned for its innovative use of perspective and psychological depth, captures a pivotal moment with dramatic intensity. Da Vinci's mastery in portraying the emotions and dynamics among Jesus and his disciples showcases the Renaissance's focus on human experience and the natural world. The Last Supper exemplifies da Vinci's genius in blending scientific observation with artistic creativity, influencing countless artists and enduring as a symbol of humanist ideals. Thank you for watching this timeline presentation. Remember, your journey through history doesn't end here. There's an assessment based on this video waiting for you. 
it's your chance to showcase what you've learned about the people, places, and events we've explored. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing your insights and understanding reflected in your work.